So hello, everyone. It is Kelly McVeigh, and I'm excited. I told, um, I posted today by popular demand. Um, I have Jace back on, and I'm so appreciative that she jumps on every month and does this because I always learn from this as well. So I'm going to let her get right to it. I did put a document in the chat, and when I post this recording, I'll post it as well so you all have it. So Jace, I'm going to turn it over to you. Okay, guys, we're going to get going. So I'm just going to share my screen like I do. I'm just going to make sure I can see everybody because that drives me cr crazy when I can't. Okay, so we're going to plant some seeds together today. One of the things that um, I think can be a little ominous when you're doing network marketing is what am I supposed to be doing today? Um, or even just like social selling or starting a business or whatever, whatever it is that you're trying to start from scratch. Sometimes it's like, I don't know what activity everyone else is doing that's working. Um, so I collected a lot of feedback and I collected a lot of notes about what specific daily activity people are doing right now that's working and bringing them results. Um, the biggest thing that I wanted to get across with this particular power up is just, this is the business building activity that compounds over time and builds a really even flow of success in your business. So the goal is in the beginning to go out there and find, right? But that we eventually want to turn into people just coming to you and just, You've got a really nice flow with the way that you talk about your business, the way that you project, and people just eventually start coming to you based on the activity that you're doing. So these are the little seeds that get planted each and every day um, by way of social media or face-to-face. -face. I wanted to touch like on both points, like how to do it one-on-one, -on -one, how to do it in person, how to do it online, just so that if you sit down one day and you're like, I don't even know where to start, you can literally pull this sheet up and be like, I'm just going to do these five things. <laughs> okay. Um, and just so you guys know, I was telling Kelly this yesterday that I, if I don't want to do something, I'm really good at finding people and leveraging people that can. <laughs> So if there's activity in your business that you're like, this is not me, um, it doesn't mean that you can't find a way to incorporate it in your business. And I'm going to give you an a really good example of that today. Um, so you might get a little uncomfortable. It's fine. That's what I want. I'm going to try and stretch your muscles a little bit this way um, with your comfort levels. But I promise that this activity, if you do some of these things every single day, it will compound over time. And each seed, this is how I like to think about it. Each seed that you plant today will bloom in five, right? So this is why it's so important. And I just want to point this out. The consistency talk that we hear all the time, like just show up and be consistent, be consistent, be consistent. The reason for that is if we aren't, there's gaps. So like if I didn't plant any seeds this week, next month, there may be a week or two where nothing's blooming. <laughs> Does that make sense? Nothing is going to bloom right when you plant it. And so I'm just bringing that concept to light because what you're trying to do with being consistent is to avoid the gaps, to fill that space. Okay. So we're going to get started. The very first thing we're going to do, we're going to do all this together. I know you guys love these, <laughs> these power ups because they make you work with me. I'm going to teach you guys how to make a 10 second reel and post it. So you can either do the activity with me or you can just keep not doing the activities, but the whole point of this power hour and this power up is to do it. So I want you to pull up your phone. We're going to focus on Instagram for this particular exercise um, because daily exposure is key. One of the things that Justin Prince said at leadership was your business might be underexposed. It was one of those six truths that he talked about. And I was like, this is so true. The daily exposure is almost more important than what you're actually saying about the content. It's really just them seeing you and making sure that your name is being seen day after day after day. Um, and that conversation is being had day after day after day. So that's what we're going to work on right now. I want you to pull up your Instagram. I'm actually going to teach you guys how to make a real without going into the real tab. This is a little easier for me. So I actually go to start a new story 
You can pick whatever filter you like. That's fine. You guys are going to have, or no filter. That's fine too. Um, you're going to need one Hue and Grace product. So if you need to get up and go grab one, then go grab one. I recommend maybe your favorite one, one that you have like right around you, one that you love to sell. This is my favorite product. It's the body oil. So this is the one that I'm going to use. So I'm going to give everybody just a minute to go do that. And then maybe post in the chat when you have it with you and we'll move through this activity. Nice. Nice, Christine. What do you have, Ashley? What is that? Is that the morning supplement? Perfect. Okay. So what we're going to do, you pull up your story. Okay. There's a little arrow, a little down pointing arrow. If you click on that, you can click on hands free. If you already know this trick, great. If you don't, this is going to change your life. <laughs> okay. So pull up a story, click whatever filter you want, click on hands free with that little down arrow. And what that does is it gives you a three second head start and then it starts recording. What I want you to do is just take like a less than 10 second video of you and the product. You don't have to say anything. This is called B-roll content, okay? It's just you with the product. So all I'm gonna do is, and you can turn the camera towards you, set it down so that you can see yourself, right? I'm just gonna open it and use it and that's it. Okay, you don't have to say anything. The whole point of this is just having the product in the background, okay? So I'm just gonna put myself on mute so that everybody's videos are quiet. And I'm gonna give everybody a minute to just sort of take that B-roll video. Okay, while you guys are finishing that up, this is why you wanna be on live because you're gonna miss the activities. Once you have it, it's just in your story, right? So you're gonna export it. You don't wanna actually post this into your stories. So just click on the three little dots on the top right hand and hit save and it will save to your photos. So the reason that I'm walking you guys through this is because I want to show you that creating content doesn't take 15 hours. Like you can literally do this in less than 10 minutes and create a reel every single day with some kind of product highlight. It doesn't have to be insane. Like I don't have the patience or time to spend hours and hours on videos. Number one, people love to see people. They don't love just seeing product. Okay. They like to see, if you think about it this way, they love to see, smell, touch, use, and experience. So if you can capture those five senses in your, in your posts with these reels, um, that's really what we're trying to do here. We're trying to help them experience what the products are like without them having them in their hands. Okay. So once you've exported it into your photos, then 
you go back to your homepage, you click your little plus sign, and now we're going to make that into a reel. Okay. So you click on reel. You just click that last video that you just made. Hit next. Okay. On the audio, you can pick whatever audio you want. I like to do like instrumental on some of these things, but whatever your mood is, you just don't want it to be like the sound that you made unless you want some ASMR stuff going on, <laughs> which is fine too. People love that. Okay. I'm just going to mute it so I can find a little music. Don't spend too much time on this. Just like real quick. You can even use trending audio if you want on these, which is kind of fun sometimes. Okay, so this is the music I picked. Just piano music, super simple. Okay. Um, so you'll see your little video pop up down here. Just edit the beginning and the end. If you want, just cut it, right? So you want to go until you just set the product down and then maybe cut it. So my video is like 20 seconds long. That's it. You're actually done. Like once you've done the video, once you've put the music on it, you're just going to hit next. Okay, and the video's done, your reel is done. What I want you to focus on here now is really the text that you're gonna put over it because that's actually what people are gonna pay attention to, not what's going on in the background. What's going on in the background is your subliminal messaging. You're like, that's you being like, you need this without telling them. So what I want you to focus on, really, really simple. I want you to focus on one key benefit, one key ingredient, um, your favorite selling point on this product or just something that you personally love about it. And that's all I want you to write. So this is the body oil. So all I'm going to write is something like you should smell this because that's my favorite thing about the body oil. <laughs> Okay, so what we're trying to do is just create some interest, like some conversation. Okay, so are we putting this over the video or like in the caption? Yeah, okay. See, over the video. Thank you. And you just want it like really short, right? Because what we're going to put in the caption, I want you guys to just try to focus on one short paragraph. Okay. So when you hit next, you can edit the cover if you want a different cover for it. Um, but what I want you to focus on in the caption is I want you to write a one, a short one sentence on how you would get someone to try this, like, what would you say? If you had one sentence to get someone interested, what would you say? Or you can write your favorite thing about the product. Or another great thing is you can ask a question. And then once you've kind of created that one liner, cause you guys know on Instagram, you really just see that first line and people are either gonna read the rest of your, your paragraph or they're not based on that first line. So don't overthink it again. 
And this, again, you guys, is a compoundable activity. So I wouldn't even worry about the engagement, like what engagement it gets. Just focus on, I'm going to do this every day in some small way. And I pro we're trying to just create conversation. We're trying to get people to DM us or ask us what it is or some kind of conversation starter. So I'm just going to write literally my favorite Hue and Grace product. And then in the paragraph underneath it, you can do like just a few sentences. Like I'm going to write, I never thought I was an oil girl until I used them. <laughs> right? Like it doesn't have to be super complicated, but what I want you to focus on um, is to, when you add the context, you can even describe it again, touch the five senses. Here's what it smells like. You can even write that. It smells like oranges, right? Smells like, tastes like, feels like, here's how I use it. You could literally just list that and then follow at the very end with either a call to action, like DM me if you want the link, or you can ask a question. Do you use, do you, like what supplements do you use? Like the morning supplement, do you use vitamin D? You could even say that. And is it D3 question mark? And that can be like your end statement. Hands down, you guys, the, the most beneficial seed you can plant every day is the energy and tone you set first thing in the morning. Um, and then also the conversation starter for the day. You want to start every day with a conversation starter of some kind. It doesn't always have to be hue and grace. Like it doesn't always have to be ingredients or product related either, like base it on your brand and what's going on with your life. Um, I think the variety is really key. So just really put yourself out there. So the very, very end of your post, you just really want to add either a call to action or a question or some kind of conversation starter. So I'm going to give you one more minute and then we're going to post it. You can add a couple hashtags if you want. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with you guys as we go. What I really love about Instagram now is you can take a poll right on your, on your things. So you can even take a poll and that can be your call to action. Do you take supplements? Do you use lotion or oil or whatever? And if somebody's like, I actually use lotion, you can be like, well, guess what? Guess what I have coming next week for you, <laughs> right? Okay, so go ahead and post it. You can share it to your stories if you want to, but I'm actually gonna walk you through an activity for that. So let's just keep it on your feed. And if you've never posted a reel or didn't know that you could do this, 
Now you can. See, that wasn't so hard, right? Reels were very intimidating for me when they first came out. So number one, daily exposure. This is like one of the most important seeds. Set your tone, set your energy, start a conversation. Like just put yourself out there and make sure that your business is exposed today. Okay. The second activity that we're going to go into is um, continuing that piece of it on social media. These first two are really like our social media pieces. Um, and again, this is the networking connecting that I teach all the time, but I'm actually going to focus on a specific thing with you today. So, um, one, number one, I think leading your day with more personal engagement. So like when you wake up and you think to yourself, like, okay, I've made my post, <laughs> I've exposed my business. How am I going to start talking to people? I highly recommend you guys making sure that the very first touch points that you make every day are with voice messages, check-ins, like in direct message, like something like live videos in your Instagram stories, something live being present and showing people that you're present every day is so key. These seem like little things, but these are the things that work. Like these are the things that plant the seeds. They need to hear your voice. They need to see your face. They need to see your facial expressions. They need to understand your personality. They need to understand your transparency. Like this is what builds trust with your customer base. This is what will get the people on the fence or the flies on the walls to come forward. So you being present is really important. One cool thing that I learned is you can go into your stories and um, you can just record your voice saying something over a blank screen, hit the captions, and literally there can be a story of just text and your voice without even a video. So like if you have a story you want to share or a quote you want to share or something like that is a cool way to kind of do it differently than everybody else is doing. Um, but what we're going to focus on right here is we're going to take a morning poll and get other people engaging and peep our body butter product. So I <laughs> made you guys some graphics that you can use. So you don't even have to do that. I'm just going to post them right here in the chat. You can pull whichever one you want. Hopefully Kelly's like, you can't post that, but <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we can. Let me see if I can pull these up. Um, I just made a couple. So this is just a way to open your stories today and post one of these photos. And then we're going to just take a poll of some kind, get people engaging about it. So I tried to, I'll pull these up so you guys can see them. So this one I made kind of blank. Here's the little body butters. These all little say hue and grace. And then you can type whatever you want in here. I recommend doing like join the wait list or like send me your email. Are you interested? Whatever it is, like some kind of call to action. This is just a really like bare minimum kind of peep. It doesn't have any information about the product yet, but that's kind of what we want. We want people to be like, what is this? Right? So you can start conversations in your direct messages. This one is has the product right here which is kind of fun. It's just sort of hidden. So people are going to have to look at it and be like, what is that? And then the release date, new skin loading. You guys should see the one that I made. It's so awesome that I'm going to post. It's really funny. Um, and then there's this one. Okay. That's got a little more information, but I left a lot of blank space for you to write or add whatever you want to. So pull them up. Hopefully everybody can grab them. You're just going to go to your Instagram stories again. And again, you guys, this is a daily, a daily activity that you can do to start engagement with people. It's really great to do new stuff in your stories because it's easy to interact with, and it's a different audience than the people on your feed. Okay. So your goal is to take one of those, share it in your stories, and then add a poll or ask a question on it or try to gather emails for an email list, like a wait list. 
Polls are great, you guys, because at the end of the day, you can see who took the poll. And if you go back to that story and slide up, it gives you all the names of the accounts. So it's almost like an email list. And if you screenshot that and keep it, the day that this product launches, you can literally tag every single one of those people on it. If you're struggling to ask questions, <clears throat> just think about skin questions. Do you struggle with, and then you can put the poll, dry skin, sun damage, wrinkles, scarring, um, environmental skin issues, eczema, like whatever it is, you can put like things in there. And then whoever takes that poll, you can DM them today and be like, tell me about your dry skin. <laughs> tell me about your eczema. Tell me about whatever it is, and then you can get into a conversation about it. And what's really cool, you guys, is you can turn this conversation into a collagen sale. Since the body butter isn't available yet, you can be like, let's start from the inside, right? Looking for those opportunities in those conversations and in those DMs is really key. That's something that I have discovered the top retailers are really good at. They find the gaps in conversation with people and they, they listen, like they really listen intently to what people are saying and they find the gaps and they fill them with these solutions. Okay. When you're done with your story poll post in the chat and we'll move on to the next two. The last one is homework. So Jace, also someone asked and said, can you say the voice thing again, how you can do a clip with just your voice? Hey, I'll show you. This is a cool trick. So you go to the same, you go to your stories and you're just going to actually take a video of like whatever is around you. It doesn't really matter um, because we're going to get rid of that, but you literally just hit record and you just start talking and saying things like I'm saying. And then once you're done talking, you stop the recording. Okay. So you've got just like this random video that I took, but you have my voice saying something. Okay. So you go to the little square smiley face and you're going to hit captions and it will transcribe the audio. See how the audio is on there now. Okay. So this is how you make it blank. You go to the three little dots and you click draw, you pick whatever color you want, and then you just hold it down. Hold on, my hands are there. Ta-da! This is something I just made up as we were talking. So you guys will be the first people to have ever done this. <laughs> okay. It's actually brilliant. You guys, that would be like the most brilliant reel, right? Like to do a reel for 10 seconds and just be like, my favorite quote of the day. <laughs> and then like caption it and then post it. I am so good at this. We are so good at this, you guys. Okay. Have you taken your poll? Are we good? Are we good there? So you have now opened your business on social media for the day. Like you're good to go. You should be able to build off of that each day. That's one thing that I, I think is really key too, is that when you do open up for business and you expose your business for the day, you set the tone, you establish the energy that you want to bring into your business, right? You can build on that through the rest of the day. That was so easy, you guys. That was like less than 30 minutes and you just completely opened your whole day up for conversation, for engagement to talk about this stuff, like it really can be overwhelming if nobody walks you through it. And that's why we do these. Um, but it really is that simple. It doesn't have to be more complicated than this. And for those busy people, career people, moms, whatever it is that you're doing in your day, we can all carve out at least 20 minutes, right? 20 minutes is a lunch break. It's possible. Okay. Okay. The direct messages. So this is probably 
where you're going to find the most success in actual sales and retailing. Every single thing that I do, I try to funnel into a DM or a direct message of some kind where I'm talking one-on-one with someone. So that's always the goal, whether I'm like, I need to sell something today, or I need to, you know, invite the business opportunity, or I want to add to my email list or build my newsletter or whatever it is. You can reverse engineer what content you need to put out for that. But at the end of the day, we're really trying to funnel people into those DMs. So one thing that I want you to look for, if you go to either your Facebook or your Instagram, you can even look in your text messages, wherever you directly speak with people. um, And just A, learn how to look for those gaps, right? In their conversation. Like, and a lot of the times you find that when you're like, what do you do for a living? Or what's your lifestyle like? Or you know, what's your goal? So like if somebody responded to my poll and they were like, I have really dry skin, I would be like, okay, like what climate are you in? What's your day job? Like, what are you doing all day? Do you work with your hands a lot? Is it your feet? Is it your hands? Like get good at asking questions and you will find the gaps and you'll be able to fill those gaps with the key ingredients, with the key benefits, with the products, um, and just improve their life a little bit. (laughs) help them a little bit, you know? Um, so what we're going to do really quick for this activity is number one, I want you to think about one person that you could DM like, or text right now. So I'm not a big, make a list of a hundred people kind of person. I'm a, let's create a new audience every day kind of person. (laughs) So, um, what I do like to do though, because this is so important is I do try to figure out how to start a new DM one-on-one conversation every single day, Monday through Friday. So not Saturday and Sunday, but Monday through Friday, because if you can have three to five one-on-one conversations going at all times, you're going to sell pretty consistently and you're going to find a lot more opportunity. So Um, with direct messaging, what I want you guys to think about is who can I text or DM or message right now? And then I want you to think about skin, health, or home. Think like directly what you want to talk to them about. That's the the key piece. Cause a lot of people are like, I want to message somebody, but I don't know what to say, or I don't know what to talk about, or how do I start? And that's really it, right? You start to think, you know, my sister-in-law constantly talks about how much she struggles to sleep and it's like sleep awareness month. Right. So I can message her and be like, how's your sleep going? (laughs) How's that going for you? But like, that's kind of how you get creative with it. So even on your social media, when you're in your, on your feed, if you go into your comment section, one of the best ways to funnel conversational, conversational pieces in your business is to respond to their comments in a comment back, but then take it to the DMS. Hey, I don't know if you saw my response on our comment on the comment that you left on my thing, but X, Y, or Z. And then just respond to the comment in the DM. It'll just take the conversation more direct. And then you can ask different questions and that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So what I want to do right now is just who comes to mind. If you think who could I message today about skin health or home and just type it in the chat. Mm, That's your settings. It's weird. Sorry, Ashley, I'm looking at your picture. I don't know what that's doing. Maybe X out of it. I don't know why it's showing that. I've never seen that before. So be conversational and DM someone specific about something specific. So this is your goal. I want you to try and do it right now. If you can, who can I DM? Mom, how are you sleeping? Super simple, right? 
to your friends, Hey, did you get out and do your walk today? Like, what are you doing today? What's on, what's on schedule? The thing is that I've realized too, even with asking for a lot of feedback and what people do specifically to plant seeds, a lot of it is this it's either face-to-face or in the DMS, like just starting conversations about stuff without the intention or expectation of making a sale just to be conversationable. And sometimes you guys, it's even if you go into it with the idea of like, I just need to practice learning how to talk about this. That's really helpful. So take a lot of the pressure off of, I need to make a sale or I need X, Y, or Z out of this conversation and just try to be more conversational because each conversation that you have plants a seed. And at some point, if it's going to bloom as you fuel and and nourish it with your content every day, then it will. I like to think about content as like the fertilizer and the sunshine and the water to all the seeds that you're planting, all the conversations that you're having outside. Cause that's really like your big platform, right? Like that's what people see you talking about every single day. And so when you do take it one-on-one, it's consistent. It allows you to talk about the same stuff that you talk about on your social media. You don't need permission to have those kind of conversations because that's what they're following you for, right? Um, and the same thing goes with your personal life. If you're like, hey, I work for this company, this is what we do, it's not going to be weird for you to start talking about this stuff. It gets weird when you're like, I need you to buy something from me. <laughs> so stop making it weird. Like just, just be conversational. Okay. So the DMs. So I'm, the last thing I'm going to do really quick on this, and then we're going to move on is go to your homepage. And I want you to look at, um, I want you to look at your posts and I want you to go into some that maybe have like more comments. And I want you to see if there's any comments you could take into a DM conversation. So maybe go to I mean, hopefully everyone has at least one post that people interacted with. If you don't, it's fine. It's actually not that uncommon, but if you do, so like I posted on Saturday about my workout, right? And a bunch of people were like, I worked out too. I could go into the DMs and be like, what workout did you do? I could encourage them in my comment section, but get details from them in the DM. This is just a good practice to get into. Okay, here's the the mother load activity. So I'm going to make you guys get a little uncomfortable maybe. How many of you guys have done a home party? Say I. How many of you are like super excited to do it, but are also like, that's not my personality or my jam? And how many of you are like, I'm all about it. I'm going to do them all the time. Just think, think through this. So I am in between all of those things. <laughs> I'm like, I would love to do this. Ah, that's not my personality. And I don't know about this, right? Like through the ringer, like I've been doing this since November. And my one goal was to like do a home party and it's now March. It's fine. So I came up with a way to leverage my social circle, which is what we're talking about. So Amy just posted, I did it in a coffee shop with a small group of friends. So you can do a lunch and longer. You can do a coffee, like a brunch every week. You can do a coffee shop thing. It doesn't have to be like this elaborate home party. Number one, number two, if you're intimidated to do or host one of these yourself in your home, leverage your social circle. What I want you to think about, because this is what we're going to do today is I want to get you hosting a party in somebody else's house with their circle, not yours. It kind of alleviates some of the pressure. So what I want you to think about is who in your inner circle, your friends, your family, whatever, colleagues, who would be an awesome host? So you're going to think about people who do activities like this, who host bunko nights, who do game nights, who do girls nights, who do movie nights. These are your people. These are your hosts. They love this stuff. Okay. So there's this girl in my neighborhood who invites all the girls in our neighborhood over 
every holiday to do something or, and we do a bunko night and we do all this stuff. And I'm like, she would be perfect. She's not my best friend, right? Our kids play, we're mom friends, whatever. So I reached out to her and I said, Hey, I need to test a home party with my company, Hugh and Grace. Do you think the girls would want to do it? Here's sort of what I'm thinking. We'll focus on skin. Would you want to host this? And guess what she said? I would love this. I would love to host this. I'm like, great, let's send them an invitation. So this five months that I was stressing about doing this stupid party, all I had to do was send that one text to somebody else who this is their jam. I'm fine to like do it and host like help and do all that stuff. I just didn't want to do it in my house. And I wanted to do it with people that I didn't know so that I could have like an unbiased audience and pose it in a way of like, this is going to be a trial run, right? There's always a way around it. Leverage your social circles. If there's someone in your circle that's super social, number one, they might make a great advocate. Number two, they may make a great sales rep for you, whether they become an advocate or not. And this is such a cool way to get involved in your community. So I want you guys, so who is that person in your social circle that you could do this with? We're going to do it late at night because a lot of the ladies in our neighborhood are moms and their kids go to bed at eight. So we're going to do it from eight to nine. We're just going to do drinks. It's going to be the detox the hydrate detox and collagen. I'm just going to mix like a really cold water because she wanted to focus on skin, right? So we're going to just detox and do the collagen. That's going to be the beverage. Like we're not going to do food. We're not going to do that whole thing because we're going to do hand washing with the body polish. We're going to do the body oil. We're going to do, I'm going to let them see the new body butter. Hopefully it gets here on time, right? And it's perfect because it's next Thursday, the 28th. And guess what's going to be available? Hey, you guys, you can try this now for the first time. You're the first people that get to try this product, right? So once you get the party planned, like you have the person, you have the date, you have the topic, which I let her choose. Do you want to do health, skin, or home? Um, then you can kind of start creating how you want to do it. I think an activity, a 10 minute like presentation and intro and then a 10 minute close after the activity is enough. Like it doesn't have to be something so crazy, right? Um, yeah, you can incentivize the host with a $10 product credit with their customer number. You can give them a host gift if you want to, which I always think is nice because they're letting you use their, <laughs> their house, right? Um, but it just doesn't have to be complicated. If you guys think back to like Mary Kay and Avon days, right? Like those were legit parties. Like you do like a full face of like makeup at those and they're like hardcore sales. This isn't that kind of product. Like it's just, these are products that are fun. They're functional. They're important. I think is the main thing. It's not just beauty. Like it's so much more than that. And that's why I think it's different because there is something they can learn. This is something that actually is going to benefit them from the inside out, right? It's, it's better than clean. It's more than that. And I think that that's really the selling point. So I want you guys to send the text, think about who would be an amazing host. And then you have that home party scheduled for and get the date set. I recommend by the 31st. Okay. Okay. The very last thing, and this is, was the last tip that I got that has been working really, really well is samples. Like having a sample pack wherever you go. Um, I call my collagen and hydrate sticks, my purse sticks, and they're just in my purse all the time. <laughs> um, but what's funny is since calling them that people have started to talk about it that way. Like, what is that? I'm like, Oh, these are just like my little purse sticks. And they're like, what are they though? So simple, you guys, like it's crazy how just the little things that you, how you operate is interesting. You don't think it is because it's just what you're doing, but then you say something and people are like, what are you talking about? And then, and then if you have it with you, you can share it. So this has been a really, so you guys know Kim, I'm going to shout her out because this was actually one of her suggestions. Kim Lima, she takes samples everywhere she goes. And she was like, take them to your hair appointment, take them to your nail appointment. 
And even for me, I went and got my teeth cleaned and my dental hygienist started talking to me about all kinds of things. I always ask a ton of questions to my healthcare professionals because I think their jobs are interesting. And we got on the topic of clean ingredients and clean toothpaste, right? And these things, because my son is autistic and she's like, oh, you should use Tom's. It's non-disruptive, whatever it is. And we got into this whole conversation about what it is. And she's like, oh, are you still with this other company? And I'm like, actually, no, I'm with this new company, right? One of the best ways to start a conversation about your job is to ask somebody else what they do. What do you do for a living? Because then they'll be like, what do you do for a living? And it's just a really simple way to kind of introduce that. So my advice is to have a really solid answer to what do you do for work? Like, think it through, like have a real pointed answer to what do you do? Like, what's your job? What do you do there? So that you can spark some interest in conversation. But I recommend having some kind of purse pack, have your collagen, have your hydrate detox, have a body oil sample, have business cards, because this is that kind of business. And this will move your business forward. And even it can even be as simple like yesterday, I went to the gym and some dude left his business card on my car, right? For personal training. And I'm like, I should come put my business card on all these cars, right? Like you just, it's just little things like that, but they really do plant seeds, right? Okay, we're gonna end, but I did wanna give you guys this extra sheet because this is all the feedback that I collected. So when I asked um, just our group and, um just sort of the leaders within our team, what they were doing. Some of my girls that are crushing it. These are the everyday things that they're doing. This is how they're daily planting seeds. So I just wanted to create like a one, a one sheet list. Cause there's so many that we didn't touch on. Um, so you can print this and put it up in your workspace and be like, I don't know what to do. Look at this and just start picking little things off of it that seem achievable and seem doable and I promise you, like, I did this with one of my newer advocates this week who was struggling to just like get going, like to start, like do a post, like make conversation. And I'm like, you're just overthinking it. Like, this is all about discovery. That's what I think about content discovery. It's just learning what people find interesting and what they don't. Like, I don't get emotionally attached to the content a lot of the time that I'm posting. It really is. I really legitimately look at it as discovery. What are people connecting with? Because that's what's interesting to me. I love to see what people care about because I think it's fascinating. So when you put it up that way and you, and you do start putting out more content, you get less attached to it and you get more attached to your mission and your message and what you're trying to accomplish and why you're showing up and the connection that you're creating between people, right? So this is a really great way to just kind of get started planting those seeds. Um, does anybody have any questions? I tried to like not go a full hour, Kelly. <laughs> it's like, I'm just gonna. Let's see. Oh, Amy said, what's everyone's one-liner? What do they do for work? That you guys, I think is hands down, like one of the best questions you can ask yourself as a new advocate. My husband asked me, how are you going to sell this? And I was like, it's a great question to even just think about how are you going to sell Hugh and Grace? How do you visualize yourself doing it? Okay. Kelly just posted the, the PDF again. We can post it in the big page if you want to. Yes. I'll post this recording and that in the Facebook page. Um, I, I love the idea too. And I, Jason was amazing always. I think it's so great. I feel like it's so all the things being consistent. I love the planting seeds sheet that what people that are winning are doing every day. I love printing that I'm a printer and like just looking at that daily, I think showing up consistently is so important. I love Amy, when you say like, what do you do? Um, I always think you don't have to say, sometimes I think people have to say like Hugh and Grace and regurgitate all this information about hormone disruption and all the things. I think you could literally say, I work for a health and wellness company that's super transparent about their ingredients that's based out of California. It's yeah. like, it gives a little bit 
and then they want to know more. And so it leads them to ask more questions. Yeah. Um, because I think sometimes people stumble on making sure in, on, and around and hormone disruption, what is hormone disruption and what are safe ingredients and why are products not regulated? And like, you can stumble into this space, but if you say something that's like quick and easy, oh, it's super flexible, a company based out of California, health and wellness, it's super transparent about their ingredients, then they're going to take what, where they want that conversation to go from that by the question they ask, like, well, what do you mean by flexible? What, what do you mean it's based out of California, but you work here, like transparent, like what is health and wellness to you? Like they're going to ask another question and it just starts the conversation. And then too, if you say that, but you have another conversation in two weeks, you can drop another little, we talked about planting seeds today, drop another little seed that is a example of what you do for work. And so I think it kind of just, it's something you can build off of. Yeah. And I think that the, I mean, if you guys think about it, seeds are tiny, yes. they're just tiny. Like these are just little tiny drips in your day where you're just dropping seeds all the time. And I can't even tell you how many times the work that I did in January saved me in March, how many times the work in February saved me in March, right? Like that's the coolest part about our business is that if you are in the business of planting seeds instead of making sales, like everything will come together, everything will happen. And I think that's why it's inter like important, like Kelly was saying to make sure that your messaging isn't going beyond a, your joy and b what you personally have interest in, because you're really trying to capture the audience. That's like you, right? Like there's people who are going to capture the the hormone experts that just really want to get into the weeds. And me and Kelly talked about this the other day too. That's not my audience. I want to capture the everyday person that isn't aware of this kind of product that doesn't want to get into the weeds with it. <laughs> they just know that they want really healthy, clean things going on and around their body, but they aren't going to be the ingredient bashers. They're just not that, that way. So it's important to understand that either one works. And I love how you worded that Kelly of just, we're a health and wellness company that's, you know, based out of California that is really transparent. I think that incites a lot of conversation and you can go in a lot of different directions with that. So that's great. Okay. This was amazing as always. Like I try to capture her at least once a month. So I'm so appreciative that you guys got on. I'm going to post this recording um, you know, starting off with what Jay said at the beginning, it's about planting seeds every single month. And I always say the month before uh, incentive trip ends, everyone's planting seeds because they're trying to get all the points to wrap up that incentive trip. And then sometimes a month later, someone will say, I recruited four people this month and I wish I would have recruited them last month when the incentive trip was ending. And I'm like, you were planting lots of seeds the last month of incentive trip. So remember what you plant. I like she said, you're planting those seeds. They're going to bloom four or five weeks later. And so always keeping that consistent and moving is important. So appreciate you so much, Jace. Appreciate all of you and what you're doing. And I'll post this later today. Thanks, everybody.